So there's this show that was immensely popular in the late 90s, early 2000s, named Friends. It's a sitcom that features six people, they're all friends, and the show's about how they all intermingle with each other, and how, you know, this guy likes this girl, this thing happens to this guy, and that makes this person react this way, and then the laugh tracks ensue. <laughs> It first aired in 1994, and as you can imagine, comedy has evolved since then. Bazinga! <laughs> or devolved, depending on how you look at it. Basically what I'm saying is what people find funny changes over time. When I used to watch Friends with my family when I was a kid, I thought it was really funny. But I tried watching it recently, and it doesn't really have the same appeal that it used to. Don't get me wrong, obviously I know that what you think is funny changes as you grow up, but that doesn't mean that when I was a kid my dad wasn't laughing his fucking ass off like a hyena whenever Joey embarrassed Chandler. A lot of the jokes in Friends basically equate to so-and-so makes a weird face, and then a laugh track happens, and you're supposed to laugh because the laugh track is playing, and hey, <laughs> That means you're supposed to laugh, people. That isn't to say that there isn't any funny moments in Friends. The way they react to one another can be funny sometimes, but we have to remember that these are trained actors. Now imagine if a YouTuber in 2018 decided, hey, let's make a Hispanic version of Friends because that's what people are into nowadays. <laughs> Lele Pons took it upon herself to create a show. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a parody of Friends because I feel like it's trying to be its own thing while obviously being a Friends ripoff. So like, if you accuse her of being a Friends ripoff, she'll just say, hey, it's a parody. But if you don't know what Friends is, and you're saying, hey, I really like your show, she'd be like, hey, that's awesome, thank you. The idea totally was not stolen from something else. I am 100% original with everything that I do. Kind of like your new song. She's totally not trying to be Shakira or anything. So this YouTube show is called Amigos. Could it be any more blatant? It's pretty obvious that she was trying to make a parody of Friends, okay, I get it. For it to be a parody, it has to be exaggerated, but Amigos is not exaggerated. It's just Friends, Spanish version. In order to make a parody of Friends, you'd have to exaggerate the characters of the show which would be kind of difficult because the characters of the original show are already exaggerated. Like Phoebe is this nutcase and she does the strangest things like sing songs about her cat. The reason the show Friends is funny is because these people don't act like normal people. They're very out there. The way they respond to things is a little bit quirky and weird. I don't, I don't get it, you know? <laughs> and they get themselves into all these really ridiculous situations. You don't exaggerate the show by turning it into a Hispanic version. What you're doing is turning it into a Hispanic version. That's basically just ripping off the idea. Saturday Night Live made a parody of Friends. The only difference is, theirs was actually a parody. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Hi, Ross. I thought you were gonna call me. I, I s spent all weekend beside the phone in a fetal position. Because a parody is normally taking something that's serious and making it funny, like, Austin Powers is a funny version of James Bond. Scary Movie is a funny version of like scary thrasher movies. Walk Hard is a parody of a musician's documentary. Vampire Suck is a parody of Twilight. You know, some of these don't do it very well. Hey, new kid. <laughs> like imagine if someone took Austin Powers, they pretty much have the exact same show. He's like the same type of character they just make him Hispanic. And instead of calling him Austin Powers, they call him Pablo Powers. It's not really a parody. Like, you can call it a parody, but it doesn't really fit the confines of a parody. But Elvis, it's inspired. It's inspired by friends. It doesn't have to be a parody if it's inspired. Okay, fine. Maybe it's inspired, but it's not a parody, okay? There are many TV shows and movies inspired by different things, whether they be inspired by true events like 127 Hours, or adapted from a book into films like Harry Potter, or adapted from an anime into live action like Ghost in a Shell. A show can even be heavily inspired by a movie, like Mr. Robot is inspired by Fight Club. But absolutely none of these copy and paste the original material, use them in the same artistic medium in practically the same way with the same characters. The only way Lele Pond's Amigos wouldn't be a ripoff of Friends is if it was a parody. 
and it's not a parody. And I gotta say, she's lucky that this is YouTube, because if she tried to air this on actual television, she'd probably have some big names trying to sue her. She's definitely profiting heavily off of these videos. She even made Amigos merchandise, and in the description of both of these videos, she's linking her new music video, which obviously leads to more plays, which obviously leads to more money, more downloads on iTunes. One thing's for certain, Amigos is complete shit, and we'll be getting into that in a second. Okay, so now is the moment where I kind of give Lele Pun some praise. This must have taken a lot of work. Doesn't mean it's good. Lots of people spend lots of time on a lot of different things. Doesn't mean they're all good. But I commend her efforts, even though it was basically just friends. I mean, this show has got to be great. It's destined for greatness. You know how I know? Because it features two of the best Instagram comedians of all time. Lele Pons and Hannah Stocking. You said, uh, birds want to turk, get your life together. Birds want to turk, get your life together. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Okay, so without further ado, let's watch episode one of Amigos. They don't even have a name for the episode. She's put all the names of the famous people in the title to get more views. Within the first three seconds, it's like, hey, am I watching Friends? Is this Friends? So obviously there's three guys and three girls, just like in Friends. So the first thing that happens in the show, Lele Pons brings her friends tacos because they're Hispanic. Just in case you didn't know. That's why it's called Amigos. <laughs> Where's KSI and Deji when you need them, right? Why are they in these boxing matches when they could be making their own show called Ninjas? Because ninjas are black. That's why. You're not going to believe the day that I had. You know, some people can be so ignorant. Can you people not see me? So, will you talk to him? I don't know. But I got the tacos! <laughs> you see, the joke here is that they're all ignoring her, and they just want the tacos. These two guys are playing rock, paper, scissors on the couch, and this other guy, what's he doing, brushing a statue? Yo tengo un toalla para la señorita Lele. <laughs> Hannah, what is this? Uh, limpiando el baño para su caca. <laughs> the towel had paint on it. Not poop on it. She was painting. Why'd she say there was poop on it? Wait, 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 wait. My brother, you gotta spice your life up, you know? A little bit of bonga, bing, bang, bong. There you go. Oh, look. Just little details. Mm, enjoy. I would if I wasn't allergic to hot sauce. What's in this pie? Uh, I don't know. Um, butter and eggs and flour and lime and kiwi. Ki and kiwi? Kiwi? <laughs> you said it was a key lime pie. No, I didn't. I said kiwi lime. That's what makes it so special. That's what's gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm allergic to kiwi. I'm kind of a Latino who's allergic to hot sauce anyway. Right? It's like, it's like, it's like a Chinese guy being allergic to white rice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I got one. I think I got one. Um, that's, that's like, that's like, um, no, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> and what? Oh, my God. No, 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 no! I'm a real Latino! He's a real Latino, because he's eating the hot sauce now. Yo tengo un botella in mis pantalones. So Hannah Stocking's thing is that she speaks Spanish, and she has a lot of stuff in her pants. Like, seriously, that's it. She pulls a bunch of stuff out of her pants. This dude's allergic to hot sauce, so his face gets all fucked. I have to tell you guys something, okay? It's about me. Yes, Lele, we know. You're an idiot. You still cool. You still cool. <laughs> Lele's the stupid one. You know, there's a reason that sitcoms died out. People don't like being told when to laugh anymore. People kind of catch on to that. The whole laugh track thing coming in every two seconds. All right, all right, you see it? <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? So they start looking at each other from across the way, like children, and they're like, oh my God, I think he likes you. Oh my God, no, I'm not sure if he likes me. Oh, <laughs> but they like different people. That's the joke. I'm hoping that the joke was meant to be the entire video. Like, ha ha, friends is stupid. That's the joke. But something tells me Stop! that they were really trying with this. And then they play spin the bottle, but they don't want to kiss each other with their friends looking. They're acting like a bunch of middle schoolers. Works like this. I spin the bottle, lands on Gunther, so I would have to kiss Gunther. All right. So the bottle makes Hannah kiss Rudy, 
and at the last second, Hannah pulls out a picture frame with a picture of her inside it and uses it. So Ruta will kiss the picture instead of her. And then this guy says, You just got pictures on. Like, you know, friend zone, but pictures on. Hey, Anwar. Oh, God. <laughs> Joey, uh, some people don't like that. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely smashing. Yeah, I hear someone else in there with him. But hey, we're not done yet. There's an episode two of Amigos. She stopped there, thank God, but let's just give it a watch. So it starts out the exact same way the first episode did with Lele coming into a room with all the people doing something and they're ignoring her again. Except this time, instead of food, she has a baby. Oh wait, she did have food. She had burritos this time. So now Lele has a dress on, it's a black dress, and she's posing for all of her friends, and the girls are like, hey, looks good. All the guys are talking shit about it. What do you think? You look like a garbage bag. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Robocop. What do you think? <laughs> think we're not wearing the same shirt anymore. I'm sorry, we don't have your sheep. <laughs> Remember in the first episode when this guy couldn't think of anything to say? You, 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 it's okay. Well, happened again in this one. You see, the joke is these people just are idiots. If they really wanted to parody friends here, what she could be wearing is an actual trash bag and say she's gonna go out to a date. Now, it wouldn't be very funny, but hey, it would be a parody because then she'd be exaggerating what they normally do. So then Lily Pons goes on a date with this guy that she thought was fit because his name was Nick the Fit or something, but he turned out to be fat. And because he's fat, he pushes the table all over the place. This is painful, man. This is painful to watch. Where'd this baby even come from? Like in the beginning, Lady Poncho is just like, I have a baby and here's the baby now. Oh, look at, there's the face. Hannah Stocking is uh, attempting to make a funny face here. So then Lele Pons date, obviously, you know, he comments on the dress, how it looks bad, looks like duct tape. Your dress just looks incredibly ugly. It's like duct tape on us, but... So what do you think you want to order? I'm real excited about that chicken. I'm not funny either. <laughs> So if you were thinking, well, he's not that good looking, but maybe we'll have some laughs. That ain't gonna happen. So then he thinks that there's something on her face and he tries to take it off, but it's her, it's her mole. I can walk you over no, there. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's too wrinkly to be a mole. <laughs> Ew, is it what, a pimple? So Hannah Stocking takes out a pocket watch and starts trying to hypnotize the baby, but then stands up and trips. <laughs> what, why? Makes no sense. That literally just wasn't a joke. She just fell over. And then this guy starts talking to the baby as if it's like the boss baby. I have a boss baby. I saw everything, how it went there. I know your plans, I'm one step ahead. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You want the brothers can't deny. And then he's kind of like afraid of it. So he runs away. <laughs> this, looks, this looks great. What was that? He just threw the napkin away is the joke that he's like unsanitary and dirty. I bet you anything that there's going to be a part where this guy accidentally spills a drink on her. No, you don't, you don't have to. Yeah. No. <gasps> oh! Didn't I tell you that this would happen? This It's just so bad. And I'm astonished that the like to dislike is so good on this. Maybe because a lot of the viewers are younger. The jokes are bad at best when they're actually jokes. Uh, it's very predictable, and it's not even really a parody. So it's basically just a ripoff of Friends. You can't just be like, hey, we're all Hispanic, but we're gonna make the exact same show as Friends and call it Amigos. That's a parody. No. And it's not like The Office, you know, how there's a British and an American version because Lele Pons didn't buy the rights to Friends and the American version of The Office doesn't recycle every single joke that the British version used. I love how at the end of the first episode, they're like acknowledging the fact that it's supposed to be a parody because they know that there's supposed to be a laugh track. Two, Two three, three amigos. amigos! No more spicy sauce for you. What was the laugh track? 
That was well, that was a good joke, right? Where are the people that are laughing? They left. That was a good joke. Yeah, don't they get stunned? Oh, there they are. Okay, let's go. <laughs> But that's not how parodies work, you know? You can't make a ripoff of something and then at the end be like, it's a parody, guys. What they could have done is put in a shit ton of laugh tracks, just like all the time, you know? They did, but only when there's a joke, just like Friends. They could have put them in at random moments when it doesn't make sense to put them, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm good too, sorry. Want a good dinner? Wait, what did you say? You want to get dinner? Want a good dinner? I haven't had a hot meal in, in so long. Oh, it's because he's fat. That joke was so bad, I had to watch it three times to understand what he was saying. He said, do you want to get dinner? I haven't had a hot meal in so long. But he's got a meal in front of him. You know, because he's overweight, he wants to have more food. Even though he's not even really eating. <laughs> if I can't have your clams, you can't have my dessert. This is a two-way street. Now this all better be here when I come back. Well, just a tiny little. <laughs> There's a scene when this girl is trying to feed the baby, but the baby doesn't like the food, so it throws the food into the into her hair. It's not funny at all. Shut up. <laughs> Hello, little baby. It is time to go to bed. Cause your crying's pretty annoying, and it's starting to hurt my head. So please. You know the baby isn't crying, right? She's kind of just sitting there. The joke would make a lot more sense if the baby was crying. <laughs> then the group goes to the restaurant with the baby because they don't want to take care of it anymore. And obviously, you know, they give it to the guy. And that ends. And that's the end of Amigos episode two. And hopefully the end of Amigos all together because wow. Bad. I love you. And it all makes sense now. Yes, it all makes sense now. Oh, 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 oh. They're basically taking what they've learned from their Instagram comedy and implementing it into this Amigo show. Lele! Oh. Lele! No. Oh. 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 Okay, if you're really my best friend, you won't say anything. Who would I tell? I don't talk to people. I won't say anything. I can't rag on these guys completely because, you know, there was obviously effort put into this. It wasn't a complete garbage fire. I mean, it was shot kind of well. It was well lit. That's pretty much where my compliments end. Well, I'm happy that this is over. Do you guys think this constitutes as a parody? Let me know in the comment section down below. I don't think it does. I don't know, but it seems like the definition of words doesn't matter in this day and age. You can just call anything anything you want. And it's just like, oh, well, the English language is a joke now. If you like this shirt and weird stuff like it, you can buy them at alienclothing.com. And I'll see you, amigos, in the next video. Just kidding. <laughs> what? Oh, bullets. Oh, man. Darn it.